Sutter behind his goal for Snap. Snap is hit by Rona. Rona along the boards. He takes a return jolt from Snap. The two of them battle again behind the goal as the puck comes out the other side. And Brindamore flips it up ice. And now we've got a scrap going on in the corner. Trent Yanni. And I'm not sure who the save player really. is. What happened, Don, is the puck went around the sideboards, and they initially collided, and then they decided to try to settle it by dropping their sticks. But Lowry, there's a lot of pucks that come around the boards for the St. Louis Blues. They put a lot of pressure on their wingers. So Trent Yanni and Lowry are heading off to the penalty box. Wilson tried to keep it in at the blue line on that clearing attempt. It was offside, and then Rich Sutter pushes and shoves with... Wilson, Secord steps in, but nothing serious is going to develop. Great scoring opportunity. Murray from the point, a long shot deflected just wide. Here's the shot by Murray. Now watch the hit. That's the one we're talking about, and he hasn't touched the puck yet. Lord Roberts, like I mentioned, players take liberties around they get away with a lot and now he hits the goal and Riendo looks up and has a few words with him and what a campaigner though Dwayne Sutter character players all of the Sutters who have performed in the National Hockey League and it appears as though Dwayne Sutter is not feeling well after that hit by Roberts. 153rd playoff game. Off balance by Jeff Brown and it may be for this was he runs into Riendo. That's what it's for but he felt that he might have got Jeff Brown had he'd got a step on Brown and they would come in there and just lay it on the goaltender but Everett Santa Pass, Dan Vincelat and Mario Doyon. Mameso runs into Doug Wilson. Here's the collision between Mameso and Wilson a few moments ago as both went down. Lemieux fires it wide. Sutter racing in. Checked by Lawler. Ahead the tunnel. There's an injured St. Louis player. Two periods, so he's well, he's well on his way. I'm sure he's got at least five shots. This is the elbow alarmer, is it, or is it Lemieux? on Brindamore as he takes it in the face. Might have been Jocelyn Lemieux. Glenn Featherstone draws the penalty as first Lawler took his man out, but Featherstone was all over Steve Larmer right in front as the Hawks buzzed around. Savard had a good play back to Wilson, and the ensuing play results in another power play, the third of this period for the Hawks. Well, one of the spectators wearing a Chicago Blackhawk jersey, somewhat innovative. He has an anti-Featherstone shield sitting right beside the penalty box. That was a shot from Wilson, and you'll see here, finally, there's good coverage in front by Lawler. And right in front, Featherstone takes down Larmer right at the top of the screen. You'll see it there as he just pulls him right down. Too far for Brindamore. Back after it goes Larmer, another icing call against St. Louis. And Brindamore came in to deck the Chicago defenseman. Another one goal game in the Norris final and another thriller. Chicago hangs on to beat St. Louis 3-2 and that's their series lead in this Norris final heading for St. Louis.